guys it's bd here and we're going to talk about what are the best mouse pads for tactical fps like valorant and cs2 i saw this question popping up a lot on twitter and in my comments so i thought hey why not make a video on it finally to help some of y'all out when it comes to attack fps one you need a mouse pad that's going to be durable consistent and the last component is a mouse pad that's going to give you enough control to click on those tiny heads so i structured this list whether you like fast pads or slow pads and i'll give you some of my reasoning behind each pick starting with the first mouse pad on the list we have the artisan hayate otsu so artisan has a bunch of different mouse pads that are on the faster side like the raiden and the hien and the shinkai the one one that I find to be the best with Valorant is the Hayate Otsu Soft or Extra Soft. The mid can work as well, but I find the soft to be the perfect combination between speed with the faster surface and on the control side because of what the soft variant provides, allowing your mouse to kind of sink into the mouse pad slightly, causing more friction and thus more control. Where this mouse pad really excels is in the micro adjustment. Since the at rest friction is this high, you'll be able to flick to a target really fast and then micro adjust if they've moved to put the crosshair on the head. And you can do this all without much effort and that can feel really good once you get used to it. I also like that it's not as rough as some of the artists and mouse pads like the Hien on your arm, whether you're an arm aimer, so you can consistently swipe your arm against the mouse pad and the texture is very, very soft and forgiving. Some of the other standout features is that it has a nice prone base that keeps it in place. The stitch edges are wonderful. The durability of the pad is top tier. And of course, you can always wash the pad when it gets a little bit dirty, which from the looks of it, I need to as well. And you can get it pretty close to the day that you got it. Now Artisan can be on the more expensive side, but they are well worth it and can last you for years. Okay, so next up on the list, you know, moving down in speed, we're now gonna move on to the Artisan Zero. I have a love-hate relationship with this control pad of the Artisan family. This one is one of the most common mouse pads that you're gonna see now across CS2 and Valorant, and for good reason, as it's super durable and it's a consistent mouse pad. I really like this in the soft and the mid. Go with the soft if you want a little more control, and go with the mid if you tend to be a little heavy-handed, as it does sink in on the mouse pad and can give you some jitteriness. I find the mid gives a more consistent glide, especially if you're heavy-handed. The only downside to the Zero is that it can be a little catchy on your arm, like it tugs at your skin, it's not very forgiving. And if you wear an arm sleeve, it again will drag your arm sleeve all around and twist it around your arm. And it's not a really good feeling. And sometimes I find micro adjustments with this one can be a little difficult for that reason as you know you might overshoot because you're trying to tug your arm so much which is why i stayed away from it in the past but i've been practicing with it more and i've learned to love it as i've just kind of kept the pressure off the mouse pad so that my arm can glide better the speed wise it's a little less than the o2 the friction when tracking is also very minimal it can give you those insanely fast flicks the friction at rest isn't as high as you would think with a control pad so if you do kind of struggle with mouse control this pad can really hurt you or bite you in the butt on the flip side you can use that to actually teach yourself how to control your mouse especially if you want to spend some time in aim labs or kovacs i highly recommend it if you're going to pick up this pad now the artisan zero pad will last you an eternity and definitely is one of the more goaded tac fps mouse pads Next up on the list, we have the LGG Saturn Pro. This is another great mouse pad for tactical shooters. It provides a little more control than the Artisan Zero. This is the true definition of like a balanced pad. Dynamic friction is on point and the static friction is on point as well. So you can get those fast flicks. And also at rest, it's gonna give you nice crispy lines where you're not gonna be out of control. Like you can sometimes be with the faster pads like a Zero or Otsu. It also has the benefit of not tugging on your skin and it can also work with arm sleeves as well. It also has those pour on bases just like the artisan pads, so you're getting that here. The edges are nice and small and they stay out of your way and are very comfortable on your arm. And when I recommend people, like if they don't know where to start, all this sounds like, you know, alien language, hey, 
just get an LG G Saturn Pro, call it a day, and this will do everything that you need it to do. Next up on the list, we have the OG Mud Pad, the GSR2 from Zowie. It's back in a more humidifying resistant form. It's widely available and won't break the bank at $30. You can go on Amazon and find this right now. This is a great mouse pad if you're just starting out in the TAC FPS space. The GSR2 is like having training wheels on your aim. The GSR2 has a high amount of friction at rest. So let's say you flick and you're like trying to make that little micro adjustment. That adjustment is really nice, clean, and crisp. It's not gonna be all over the place. And this is higher than the other ones that we see on the list. So again, more control, especially if you lack mouse control. And also if you're a veteran, it works to help with your consistency day in and day out. But you know what, if you have a bad day, or you know you had a workout, or you're just not feeling it that day, this can just keep you in line without much effort like some of the other ones on this, like the Otsu or the Zero, which you probably need to warm up with those pads before. This pad, I find I can just hop on the game and just start owning with it. The GSR2 also has a really good durability. I still have my original GSR. Now I moved on to the GSR2 for the humidity uh, benefits, but I have no doubt these will last you a very long time. It does have stitch edges, but they are very soft and they don't irritate your arm. If you're an arm aimer, this is compatible with sleeves, very soft on your arm as well. If you're an arm aimer, use the whole pad. Uh, and it's still used at the highest levels in CS2 and in Valorant. So highly recommend this pad. And in fact, I think, you know, when people ask me, what is my favorite TAC FPS mouse pad? This is my favorite by far. If you can get used to it and the muddiness, Man, you can do, this will keep you consistent and help you rank up in your game. Last but not least, we have the slowest mouse pad on the list. This is the Esport Tiger Tang Dao. This is a mouse pad that I've fallen in love with. I feel like Artisan is missing a true control pad and this feels like that long lost brother to the Artisan family because it has a lot of the same features like the pour on base, which is actually stickier than the Artisan pad. And then you have the denser weave, which gives you that static friction, just like the GSR2. In fact, slower than the GSR2 at rest, which is pretty, pretty nice. So. Again, if you need like those training wheels, the Tang Dao can do it for you. So, so this is gonna give you that same consistency factor like the GSR2. It's got a four millimeter thickness, so it is very, very comfortable to use. It's very smooth to the touch. So again, you can use this with an arm sleeve and it doesn't drag on your arm too much. Again, it gives you more control on your arm without being tuggy like the Zero. The stitches are low profile and stay out of your way, especially if you're sensitive to that. The durability of the pad has been great. If you've tried Artisan pads and you found that, you know, they're not giving you the control that you want, then I think the Tang Dao should be your next step. Even the GOAT Twiz is using this mouse pad at the moment. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for my list of the five mouse pads that I recommend for tactical shooters in 2024. I cover everything from fast to slow pads, giving you guys a good range of pads to choose from. And if you pick any one from this list, honestly, you're not gonna be disappointed. So if you guys have any more questions about these pads or if you you know, don't see a mouse pad on here that you really, really love, let your boy know. I'm down to check it out, all right? So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you guys like this video, and I will see you in the next one. It has been your boy, BT, saying peace.